Yay. Metro versus customer. Which one is superior? I know. I know. I shouldn't waste my time. You're all convinced that metric is completely preferable. But just wait until you hear the other side of it. We'll start with what many of you know. Customary is pretty strange. Here we have the conversions of length, volume, and weight. The only reason this is a straight line is because we only have three units to measure weight. Just to be clear, this isn't just the United States being insane. Two other countries are insane as well. Here's what the rest of the world is using, a base 10 conversion. Converting the same way decimals are, so this makes sense with their numbering system. Buckle up! We're about to get complicated. There's a form of units called the English Customary, which was used by Britain until they switched to metric about 40 years ago. France was the first country to adopt the metric system. So anyway, here's the length units in the Old English Customary. And the weight units. I went fairly quickly to prevent the destruction of your mind. Anyway! Here's the strange thing. Great Britain, Australia, and Ireland still use the stone unit to measure human weight. A stone is equal to 14 pounds. They see the amount of stones, followed by the amount of leftover pounds. However, some people do prefer to just use pounds instead of stones. This is regardless of the fact that they're supposed to be metric. And, the U.S. customary system is based off of the imperial system, which also use the same unit names but have a different value. This means that the two often get confused, but it is important to acknowledge that the imperial system is consistently worth more. The imperial gallon is about 20% more than the U.S. gallon, so our system is based off of the Great Britain system. So, we know that metric is easier to convert, but is there any advantages to American standard? It is easier to use when no measuring tools are available. The foot is about the length of well, your foot. The inch is supposed to represent the length of your thumb. The yard, however, has a more interesting story behind it. In the 12th century, King Henry I of England standardized the measure of the yard to be the length between the tip of his nose to his thumb when his arm is outstretched. This still carried to America even after the revolution. The only thing we did change is the volume measurements, keeping their name but not their value. Well, this is a big deal. You don't always have measuring tools around, and easy conversions isn't going to get you anywhere in this situation. So yet again, any other advantages to customary? Yes. I know, it's hard to believe, but there is one thing that really makes customary stand out. Fahrenheit. Sure, Celsius makes more sense. 0 degrees water freezes, and 100 degrees water boils. For Fahrenheit, what is it? 32 degrees water freezes, and 212 it boils. So how in any sense is Fahrenheit superior? Think about it. For Fahrenheit, we know that if it is 0 degrees outside, it is very cold, while if it is 100 degrees outside, it is very hot. What is that for Celsius? Around negative 20 degrees it gets really cold, and it's like 40 it's hot? Right, right. Wow. Oh well, Fahrenheit is for people and Celsius is for water. And the most common usage of temperature is the weather. One other small thing as well, for usage in weather, Fahrenheit is considerably more specific than Celsius. If we use my numbers I mentioned for very much cold and very much hot, we find that Fahrenheit has a range of 100 while Celsius has a smaller range of 60. So haha -ha, metric! There's also one of their advantages, Celsius. I find it considerably easier to spell. I'm not gonna lie, it took me around 10 tries to finally spell Fahrenheit correctly in my script. Here, I'll put it on for you. But if you think about it, the only time Celsius makes sense is if you're measuring water. And well, maybe I like to measure other things too. All right, enough of temperature. Let's look back at the main picture. There really is nothing wrong with using both metric and customary. Though I am more accustomed to customary, I can still understand that an inch is close to two and a half centimeters and a meter is about three feet. I also sometimes do measurements with metric, especially on scientific occasions. You may have noticed that many rulers contain both inches and centimeters. I do wish I was more familiar with metric as I stay somewhat confused whenever I encounter metric measurements without a customary translation. 
Regardless of which one is better, it just makes sense to use metrics since it is easier for a couple of countries to switch than the rest of the world. It is easier when things are universally standardized. See you next time on Science with Ella. Yay.